Alright, what the hell is going on, my lovely ladies and gents here? Man, we're here with some Finding of Isaac today. I had kind of stopped playing this game uh, for a little while, and then I decided, you know, man, after playing some Risk of Rain, I was like, hey, let's go back to this one. I'm close to um, unlocking the kind of real final boss, I guess. I'm not actually sure. I don't think there's any difference in functionality between the two, but when you get to Mom's Heart, once you beat her ten times, it unlocks something. I don't know. I can't remember what the hell the boss is actually called. But it unlocks a different boss. So it's like, you know what? I'm close to that. Uh, I faced Satan once before, and I want to actually beat him. And now I found out there's like four other endings I still gotta fucking get. So we want to get all those endings. But the th before we get started here, uh, thanks to Risk of Rain, I have actually been. Okay, this is really. I don't know how loud it is for you, but that's really loud in my ears. So I'm actually gonna knock that down a little bit. Um. I don't know how many of you people have like looked up other videos of Risk of Rain, of Binding of Isaac, but there are some people that are very good at these types of games and it made me kind of realize like I will never have the level of dedication. Actually, you know what? That's incorrect. The level of dedication these people have for these games is like the level of dedication I have for fighting games. Like, these dudes won't be able to tell you the frame data of their favorite characters in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. But they know exactly what every single item in these games does. They know exactly, like, they're pretty much got like a 90% success rate on knowing where hidden rooms are. Uh, and there was this one dude that I, because mostly I watched a couple of Risk of Rain videos because I wanted to, I was getting my ass kicked in Risk of Rain. I was like, okay, what am I doing wrong here? You know, what can I be doing better uh, to actually beat this game? Because I'm getting my ass kicked here. Like, am I missing something? What's going on? And that led me to uh, watch a Binding of Isaac video just for shits and giggles because I had the time. And this dude was like saying, all right, this is the item I'm going to get now from this. And he got it. Oh, this is exactly what every single item I am seeing does. And I'm just sitting there like, I don't even know what 90% of the items in this game do, let alone like identifying them before they give me the damn description. It was inc It was crazy. <laughs> These dudes put time into learning this damn game. It was impressive. And that is a remarkably good start. That is a remarkably good fucking start. If I lose this at this point in time now, like, I'm just. The fact that I just got hit there uh, bodes badly for our potential. Getting hit by that dude who. The only thing he does is do a damn thing that's special just moves around in a fucking circle and I got hit by him so we've already witnessed my grand attention to what is to what is going on around me thank god I got this before I fought Envy cause fighting Envy when you're first starting out like when you only have your one regular default shot is a, an enormous pain in the ass but now that I have quad shot Look how easily this is going. Like, it's just... This ain't nothing. Oh, shit. Woo! Ah! Alright, we're okay. We were not scared in any way, shape, or form. We knew exactly how that was going to go down. And we were not worried. And we have gotten a fun use item as well. This is fun. I just said I don't have a damn clue what any of the items in this game really do overall and now I've found two items that I actually know exactly what to do with them oh well, I guess I can kind of show it off because it doesn't really matter uh, so this item does the next time I shoot oh, that's what it does it matches the description very well so let's go fight this boss and let's see what we get it actually didn't do very much damage overall that was actually pretty disappointing damage I would have thought that would do more because most similar, like, ray-type, uh, shots generally do do quite a bit more damage. Hey, <laughs> doo-doo. Ah! Aw, oh, fucking rocks. See? Paying attention to my surroundings. Situational awareness. I got that shit in spades, son. In spades. I should never have been hit by that, but I wasn't paying any attention. I didn't know a fucking rock was there. And so I just walk into the rock, thinking I'm going to be able to uh, continue along on my merry way. And I could not have been more wrong. Spiders. Oh, shit. Can you stop spawning things and just die, please? Thank you.
Alright, the items have now dropped off a bit. We got the quad shot. Now they're giving us boring for the rest of the game, I guess. Not that he's bad. He's pretty good. Like, as you can see, they get the slow effect. Oh my god, I'm so worthless. I'm worthless and dumb, and I deserve to be hit. Punish me, spider thing. Just get a masochistic run for a bit. That actually is a challenge. It's about that. You get an item that allows you to cut yourself, and you do damage, and then you have another item. Uh, I believe it's called the Whore of Babylon, and that item, when you are reduced to one heart remaining, it gives you a massive uh, power boost, and you keep it until you no longer have one heart. There is a oh, fuck. Whoa, that was kind of weird. Kind of shifted, like in midair. Oh my god. That dude's also got an extremely... kind of ambiguous life bar. Like, every single time, once... Well, once you figure it out, you know, but, like, every time he dies when he still looks to have about, like, 10% of his health remaining. It's very odd. Curse of the Darkness, whatever. What I really want right now... What would be absolutely amazing and would cause me to just fap furiously on camera, live right now, would be uh, a speed up. Tier shot speed. Actually, I think tier's up. If I'm, I'm, I don't really understand why they made this different. Apparently, like, tier shot speed is a separate thing from tiers, like... I guess tier shot speed is actually how fast the tiers move versus uh, getting what is called tiers up, which allows you to shoot faster. It's a little odd, it's kind of awkward phrasing, I guess. But I think I understand that shit correctly. Damn it, motherfucker, I didn't die! I hate these things. These things are the goddamn worst, and we gotta deal with all the rocks. Surrounding them as well. So unnecessary. Alright, let's see what we're gonna call the secret room right here. Ooh, I'm two for two. I'm feeling good about myself today. My self esteem is at an all time high, baby. We got some gold, very little gold. I was hoping we might get a dime or a nickel in there, so that I might be able to uh, actually have 15 gold so I can use the shop. Not today. Not Has anybody ever actually gotten anything useful out of those fucking things? I I've stopped using them, so I don't know if there's like a one in a million chance to get something worthwhile from walking into those spike traps over and over. Thank you, Cuba Meat. I believe that saved me. Eh, why not? I got enough bombs. Please be good, please be good, please be good, please be good. Ah, that's not bad. I'll just have to test my memory, although I think I already explored the majority of the area anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal that, uh, it took my match. You were supposed to die from that. Oh, God. It's a special one. The red ones, you can just keep shooting. I don't know why it works that way, but when they are red, uh, they just take regular damage. Damn you. I don't actually know what this does. Bouncing tears. That's kind of that's pretty useful actually. Cuz I believe they bounce off of enemies too. And so basically it gives me an opportunity for I guess chain combos kind of. Surprise. Oh shit. I kind of forgot. Oh my god, I also forgot that those hurt you. Those versions of poop hurt you all. I definitely want to keep that, so please be good, please be good, please be good. Oh, that, that's a good pill, but useless for us in that moment. Alright, so I believe I've explored everything now. I don't... Oh, this is the spike room? No. No, it is not. Okay, I know I've no longer... Now that I guessed entirely wrong, there's the spike room. We 
gonna go ahead and use this, because why the hell not? I probably should have saved it, to be honest, but it allows me to kill this dude faster, and actually, judging by the damage I'm doing this guy now, it's probably a good thing. Because I'm really not doing that great of damage. I tried to... I always gotta get hit by that once. Every time I fight this boss, I gotta get hit by the quick thing once. And I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 that's right. I gotta be careful. Ooh, purple ribbon. Motherfucker. That's not terribly bad, but... It's just unnecessary. Ooh, goat's head, I'll take it. I believe that gives you a higher chance to get a devil room. I think. I think. I'm not... Is the spider still here? I can't see. Fucking Curse of the Darkness. Curse of the Darkness and Amnesia. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm trying to make it to the boss rush mode. I believe I have 10 minutes to make it through two floors. And defeat Mom, which should not be a problem. Oops, I did not mean to shoot that. I blew my load early. I'm sorry. It's a problem some males have. You know, premature ejaculation. Don't judge me. Can't be fucking helped. Damn troll bombs. Oh god, it's too close. <laughs> I'm stupid. Right when I shot, I was like, oh, that was dumb. See? Uncontrollable urges. I just couldn't control myself. It happens. Sometimes you just get a little bit too excited. You blow your load. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's a natural occurrence. Let's see if this is the secret room and I might get a free end of the challenge room. I almost took unnecessarily dumb damage right there. So yeah, right now, anything, meh. Anything to do with either damage up or like getting better shot. Anything to do with getting better tiers in general would be remarkably welcome right now. Um, I don't actually know what... I don't know what either of those are. I think that's a card pack. Like, it gives you random cards. Let's see what this is. Extra pill room. Well, that's just... Fantastically not useful. Wait, where'd my... Where the hell did my tarot card go? I always put one in. But seriously, where'd my, where'd my judgment go? <laughs> it just fucking disappeared. I didn't even get it, like get a chance to pick it back up. It's, that shit is just gone. Oop, boss room. Um, no, I don't really have enough. Uh. Not enough bombs to justify using two of them on a normal chest. Did I try? I did not try, so I'm gonna try. Ah, fuck you. A more unnecessary damn damage. Leaves the bloody trail, I think. Yes. See, I'm learning. Slowly but surely, I'm turning into a professional esports binding of Isaac player. So I guess this is gonna be my last shot right here. I'm just gonna try for it. Nope. I'm terrible at identify. See? That's what happened, man. I talked myself up, acted like I made I made a good made good decisions and shit. And now I can't find the secret room no more. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, I walked right into it. Fuck up the timing there. Ooh, an angel room this time. What have we got here? Flight! How fun! Let's go grab that chest then. Cause it's right here. I love flight. So actually, I would have been reimbursed for my bombs there anyway if I had... Well, granted, I don't know if uh, treasure chests are randomized. Well, obviously they're randomized, but like, if they're randomized at the time that you reach them, or if they're randomized at like the time you enter the dungeon. Like, just once you... Oh, 
why was I t I was sticking to the pathway like I had to. I'm not used to having flight. Uh, if they're random- Oh, Jesus. I wasn't paying any attention. I thought they were all that version. Whoops! Oh, God. Oh, shit! I am taking significantly more damage than I need to. Granted, in this game, aside from, like, a select few enemies, the majority of the damage you take is pretty unnecessary in general. Fuck! What's in here? Fuck, I'll take that. Oh, those two. Hope the gold chest is better than those two were. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is my cube of meat bodying those things? I'm pretty sure my cube of meat is actually bodying those things. I gotta be careful, because I don't know if another one's gonna come down. I've had that happen too many times. It doesn't look like it. I can't really see the shots in the dark room. The good thing is I don't have to worry about their trail of uh, blood. Thanks to flight, one of the best features. Screw exploration, it renders me invulnerable to most ground effects. Ow, I forgot those shot these things. God damn, would you just die? Actually, you know what? Eh, shit. She just stole my thingy. My item effect. What a bitch. But again, unnecessary hits. Damn, I suck right now. That was easy. I can't remember. Does this re-roll those? No, it re-rolls me. Shit. I'm not okay with this. Yo, look at this shot speed. This shit's... Oh, what is that? Oh, that's not even me. That's my little ally dude that's doing the... So my shots are these orbiting fucking... Whatever that oh my good god! I must have some form of randomization to my shots? Like, what the hell? I don't have a goddamn clue what's going on. I haven't... I mean, I'm still mad. I know that for, for damn sure I know that I'm mad. And then I want all my shit back. And that's my fault for being ignorant as to the effects. But man, I had flight. I had quad shot. I had so many good things going for me. And now I got nothing. There's options. More options. Whatever the fuck that means. Yo, I can't even, like, how do I... <sighs> oh my good goddamn. Oh my good goddamn. What the hell... I don't even... I don't even... Oh shit. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm heading to the boss room. But I don't think... I don't think I'm gonna make it anymore, because my character does not seem... I mean, I'll be honest, I don't have... I wish I could look at all this shit and know, like, exactly what I'm seeing, but I don't. I don't know what the hell I'm seeing. I do, however, know that this was not in any way, shape, or form worth it. Dude, like, I can't even take these things down fast enough. I'm just gonna use a bomb on them. Fuck it. Like, I'll take damage right there. What do I do? Jesus, man. I'm so slow right now, too. Man, fuck this. I honestly want to just, like... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I legitimately want to just stop and, like, restart. 
I had such a good fucking... So I gotta figure out the orbital pattern of these, but no, I don't want that shit on top of all this shit. Fuck's sake, they keep, like, I keep pushing myself out. But yeah, like, I have no real control over my shots. Which is just fucking terrible. I have no good way to kill these spiders. I'm actually almost dead. I may as well just take the death. Like, that sucked. That just sucked. I am s <sighs> Fuck it, let's just do this one more time. I'm so mad. Alright, so I am never going to use a one. I'm just gonna remember that. And I just got the same exact ally starting over. Thank you for- thank you for immediately bringing back the memories that I wanted to suppress. Fucking game. I had such a good character going. It was really strong and all I really needed to round it out was shot strength. That's all I fucking needed was being able to do more damage per shot and I was golden. And then I lost everything. Whoops, it's not shooting from there. Alright, this one's actually... I used to hate this one, but now that I'm... Oops. Now that I was waiting for it to spawn something, I thought it would. But you can actually... She crushes her own shit. Oh, that was a close one. So all I gotta do is get her to hop over here. Okay, seriously, could you please... Sit still. Come on. There we go! She crushes her own shit, so all you really gotta do is just hop away a little bit and then let her come over and handle, you know, your business. Let her do your job for you. This is a shitty start. Range up in this laser ally that did jack shit for me the first time around. Curse of the Maze, that's just... All of that does, as far as I am aware, is make it so that sometimes when you walk into a room, uh, it teleports you to a random section elsewhere. Doesn't really do anything. It's just an annoyance rather than like anything particularly bad. Alright, so yeah, if he starts throwing bombs at me, I can get him to hit himself. Oh shit. I was waiting for him to throw another bomb, but he never did. He never did. How boring. Are there any? No. Was looking to see if there were any tinted rocks that I might get some items from. Because I could use some keys and I would gladly exchange a bomb for the potential to get one. Spiders spawning pieces of shit. <laughs> so one thing I hate, I'm just, I'm just I'm done. It's so difficult to like try to find the proper aim with the lasers. Ooh, I got a lot that time. I got four. See if that because if that one had a key, I would have opened up the gold chest. But ah, fuck! I hate this one. Plus, I've got no good upgrades, so like, it's gonna take forever. I apologize profusely for fucking up 
terribly fucking up the run. That's why it's important to actually know, like, what's good and what isn't. Because honestly, there are some items that will just, like, they basically ruin everything. Like, they exist to ruin everything. And so, like, if you don't really know what those items are, your day is going to be kind of ruined. Yeah, I'm doing no damage to this guy. something to give me better damage output. Well, that doesn't really help me that much because I don't have any money. Yeah, like, I'm definitely not doing any, like, anything noticeable right now. I'll just have to save my dollar bills. Hope that it leads to something. These fucking... Everything is turned from like, oh my god, this run is amazing, to everything fucking sucks. I hate all the enemies I'm running into. I hated the boss that I ran into. I hate the upgrade that I got. I went from being a pimp to being a bitch. That's what happened. That's what happened. Okay, cool. That's good. never gonna get a Satan door at this rate and that makes me sad and it's not even worth really going to the item rooms if I spend money that lowers my damage output and why would I want to do that I want to keep my damage output as high as possible because I kind of need it to be as high as possible since I've gotten really nothing useful I'm so salty right now Yay! Eh. <laughs> These fucking things. Gotta can't even hit him with my laser, dude. Fucking dog. I mean, I got six keys. So why not just see what the hell's in here? I believe that item gives me... So there we go, I got a heart for it. I believe that uh, the purse gives me more room for a consumable. Or not consumable. A, uh, like a regular carryable. I don't know. I don't know why I'm trying to act like I know items in this game. I don't. I know like maybe... I could probably tell you what five do offhand. That additional damage. Spiders, kill him by yourself. Sp ah, shit. Spiders did not kill him by himself. They did do about 40% of his life, though, so that's cool. Almost dead. Yay! And we got a Satan room. How excited. I don't know what that does. Should I take it? 
I'm gonna take it because this run has been boring as hell so far. I'm gonna take it. Whatever. Screw it. Mass room damage. Let's go. Oh, uh, that's what it does. There's a pet, not a pet, a familiar that has a similar effect that triggers that every once in a while. Fuck you. Fuck dealing with those enemies. Nate's mad salty right now. Like, seriously, I got Cuban meat. Whoop the fucking do. I got this familiar that I can't even really manage to hit with ever. Whoop the fucking do. Yeah, I hit with him right there. It's just not a good look overall. I will be forever cursed by that goddamn reroll that ruined my life. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Y'all motherfuckers too big. But if I told y'all that, you tone it down in size a bit. Be nice. You could also stop hitting me, that would also be nice. Also, if Laser Dude was auto aimed, that'd be nice. Dude's got the technology to make a fireable laser weapon, but can't give him good aiming. Oh my god, I'm gonna die to these dudes because I don't have the damage output to really put them down. It's just so horrible. This is my worst. Oh shit. Oh, 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 okay, okay. No, no, no. Chill. Fuck this game!